be able to connect to the generator. You're going to be able to connect an EV charging bi-directional. Okay. Our batteries, like I mentioned. Okay. So you're going to have everything here. This connects to your um, electricity. And this is going to connect back to your main panel. Okay. So this is the brain to that. Gotcha. Um, and everything can this is do, DC coupled. Can this do any DC? Not this. Not this. Okay. Yeah. If okay. you're looking for DC, you can go directly. Well, to I have this. this. Awesome. I have. I do a lot of the reviews. Nice. For, so you have for you guys one on. of these guys. Yep, I have one of those too. Nice. So yeah. the cool thing about this is this you can connect there. You okay. have four kilowatts, and you can connect two on right. that side. I have. Right. So you can get a total of six kilowatts worth right. of solar. Now, can you connect this to this? Yes. Oh. This pump is going to connect it to here. Because this is bi-directional. That is. Or right through here? You're going through here yeah. or through there? going through here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That makes a little yeah. more sense. The now. cool thing about that AC coupling that you were talking about is you're able to connect not just a certain particular solar system. Okay. You're going to be able to connect Enphase, Solar Edge, Solar, any other inverter, as long as it's AC coupled into our system. I got gotcha. you. Before, the biggest thing, not just for us, but for the whole solar system, it was that this doesn't communicate with that. Right. Our battery doesn't communicate. Blah, blah, blah. Right. So if you we just AC couple problem. it and just call it a day. For we solved that problem. Gotcha. Yeah. And this, okay. is, this is how we did it, through the uh, distribution. Which makes a lot more sense that way. Yeah. And this is a, a true 200 amp pass-through. Okay. So we don't have to... Your normal, like you have it here, you have to have a smaller panel or distribute yeah. and then go yeah. that way. A little sub panel, the, all correct. that kind of stuff. You're not yeah. going right. to have to do that here. Right. So you eliminate all of those changing of wires and, and circuits and breakers. This one's going to go straight into your main panel, right? And you're done. Gotcha. This is kind of the same thing as that one. The only difference is this is portable. Right. So as you see there, yep, I have unplug that. it, take it. Yeah, I've got this, well, I've only got one battery. One expansion battery. So okay, I've got, got two of the Apex 300s. And one battery under each? One battery under each. Nice. I have that, and I have that. I did not, yeah, I didn't so see this, one of those. The, the difference between this is, this is for RVs. Right, yeah, and a lot of people ask for that. Yeah. That's my guy. Yeah. If you, hey, you know what, I want to take, but I have an RV, then I, I would sell you this at all, too. Right. Yeah. Well, the thing I like about this is kind of build it how you want it. Yes. And I don't think a lot of people got that. Yeah, because this guy... It doesn't come with anything. You buy what you want. Exactly. <laughs> Not only that, you have 4 kilowatts or 3.8 kilowatts yeah. of inverter, yeah. and you can put 21 kilowatts worth of storage. Six batteries plus the one that's already in there. So you know what's funny about... This was the first Blue Eddy item that was sent from Blue Eddy and reviewed or whatever. This is the very first one out of all the other groups that I've tested that actually asked for more. It was like, is that all you got? No joke. Like this one, I can set it on uh, max draw all the way down to 0% state of charge and it'll do it. Yes. No problem. Yeah. The other ones, they can't all do that. Marketing is one thing, and what is actually out in the field is another thing. It is. And that's the big thing it that is. separates us from... I just had a customer that said, what's the difference? And I'm like, truly, Blue Eddy spends a lot more time, because we manufacture quality. Yes, we may not be out there as much, we're not as big, yeah. but I can guarantee you that our product is quality made 100% yeah. every day. So that's kind of the difference between that one and that one. That one's a 6K. Which one? Which one? That, uh, the, the, Oh, right, right. That's the difference between that one and this one. So, this is more uh, at home, stays at home. So this is just the battery only, is what this you're is, saying. This, yeah, this is the inverter. But I mean, when you order the Energy Pro 6K, you get this sure and that box over no, there? You just this. Oh. Yeah. Okay. That's just the battery. You see it here. That's the battery, and this is that AT1 that's over there. Okay. And when you open it, you have both. Okay. You can buy it as a bundle. Okay. The battery and that ATS. If you are, if you're trying to oh. retrofit AC, okay. that's the one we were looking at, and this is this battery. Because if you wanted to, you can order these okay. to start, and then if you want to add a second, third, fourth, you can add up to five of these batteries. Okay. You can buy them separately. Correct? Gotcha. Cool. Yeah. And then you have the uh, 1300. This guy's going to come out here soon. This uh, one right here. Um, well, you have uh, another one that's similar to this. You right? probably have the 900. I don't have it. I've seen some videos. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. So this is actually the 1300. It's a little bit bigger. The cool thing about this guy is that the predecessor could only do 9,000 
watts of solar. Okay. This guy can do 22 watts of solar, 22 kilowatts. 22 of solar. K. Okay. It does 13,000 uh, kilowatts constant, and it can surge up to 26,000 for 10 seconds. Huge, huge system. You can do three of these in parallel okay. for a total of 40 kW worth of solar. Unheard of. Nobody Unheard has of. that. <laughs> Let's 60, do a, 60 a whole kilowatts bar. worth of battery correct. Right. So, huge system. Cool thing about it, like I mentioned, it has four ports compared to the old one, it had only two. Right. So you're able to expand it. It has, it can handle a 150 LRA, which is huge. The, My compared to a 510 unit. Yeah, yeah. It can handle a 510 unit in your home. Gotcha. So 22 kW worth of solar that our predecessor couldn't do this kind. This is a huge step up to EP900 to this one. Right. Okay. Awesome. Yeah, I appreciate right. it. No Thank problem. you so much. Thank you. Thank nice you. to meet you. You too. You. I just saw. I gave you a shout out. I'm like, you see a guy behind you? <laughs> but anyway, shout out your channel. Um, this right here is a refrigerator backup. This is made to really? Yeah, oh. this, is, this is so the inverter's small. Yeah, I mean it doesn't need it's to like be big because you're shoving it. Be, yeah, like right two up there. Lots of storage. You said it'll do it like a day and a half, and then this is the expansion. So you add really? this on it. Now it gives you three days, but you can add up to four of these, so you can have up to six days for your freezer or fridge. I like the way these look. I thought this is pretty neat. Mm -hmm. So that's like a single, and if you can't fit two above there, you can just mount one behind it or on the wall. Okay. All right, that's cool. I thought that was kind of neat. I like it. No, I didn't you, watch this part of the way. People ask so much. Yeah. About how? What do I need to power a fridge or freezer? Anything. Or like, yeah. That gets, like, that's like the most common question. Yeah. It's like, hey, finally got something. You finally got something, and that's easy. Yeah. And did you see that wall over there? They got no, a whole. No, I haven't walked around the other side. They got yet. a whole RV system over there. Really? Like it's designed for. Let's see. It's our five kilowatt inverter. Oh. And then it, gets a, it doesn't have the battery. He was saying that some RVs, the one I had was only 12 volt. He was saying some RVs are 12, 24, or 48. He said that's selectable. So you can select what the DC output is. It looks kind of nice, too. Apparently, you can wire it into the, the built in panels in the RV, or they have their own breaker panel you can put in. Oh, okay. I gotcha. And then they got like a screen to go. See that little power station at the front? That's blue. The, the blue one? Yeah. It's sodium that. ion. It's not lithium. Yeah, I saw that. Which we just had delivered right meow. So we're going to do a quick unboxing and we'll take a closer look, maybe go over all the specifications, and that's going to be it because I'll just do a whole nother video on this all by itself. All right, let's take a quick look. All right, so on top, of course, we're gonna get like our little tiny book, probably a quick start guide. We have a little tiny box. First cable we have is gonna be our MC4 cable adapter right here. This is gonna be for your solar charging. Next one is going to be your 12 volt adapter for like your car charging plug, you know, stuff like that. And then finally your AC charging cable right there. And there is a little tiny ground screw. So we'll set that off the side. That's it in this box. Underneath that, we have some foam. We have the portable power station. I really like the way this looks. I like the color of it. Boom, there we go. We have the Blue Eddy Pioneer NA. This is a sodium powered portable power station. All right, let me bring the camera in real quick and we'll call it a day. All righty, here is a close-up of the new Blue Eddy Pioneer NA sodium portable power station. Uh, I would say I really like this color right here. This is sodium powered NA plus. All right, we'll just do a quick little once over since I don't really know anything about this quite yet. And again, we're gonna do a whole nother video on this uh, anyway. So uh, just starting up here on the top left, this is gonna be your DC input area. So your car charging and your PV charging. Voltage range on that says 12 volts to 60 volts and up to 10 amps. 
right below that's going to be your 12 volt accessory port or your cigarette lighter stuff like that and that can do up to 10 amps next thing over is going to be the screen which i have not even turned it on yet so let's go ahead and do that real quick so i just held the power button down for like two or three seconds all right so over here is going to be our input in watts in the center is going to be our percent state of charge and how much time is left while you're using it and then on this side, of course, is going to be your output, and it says 60 hertz right below that. Okay, anyway, we have a DC on and off button right there. So DC pops on right there, which is going to turn on all of our USB ports and stuff like that right over here. So we get one USB-C, says 100 watts, and then we get four USB-A ports, 5 volts, 3 amps. And then the last button is your AC inverter on and off button, which is going to turn on these outlets right here. You can see AC popped up right there. Anyway, these are your 120 volt, 20 amp outlets. And right here, I don't know if you can see it very well, it says up to 1500 watts and it is a pure sine wave inverter. Right here on the front, it says Pioneer NA. Battery size is 900 watt hours and the inverter is 1500 watts. Of course, it says Blue Eddy right here. All right, and if I turn it to the right-hand side, this is gonna be your fan input or exhaust. Right here is gonna be your AC input your circuit breaker, and then this is where you're gonna attach the separate ground screw if you needed to add a separate ground. And then on the back side is gonna be a sticker with all the specifications. We'll just run through this real quick. So of course, model is Pioneer NA. Your input, of course, is gonna be your household power, which is 120 volts up to 15 amp max. And then for the DC or PV, again, 12 to 60 volts, 10 amps or 500 watts max. The discharging and charging temperatures are gonna be a little bit different than what we're used to if you're used to lithium iron phosphate batteries. So this can actually charge and discharge in a little bit colder weather. So for the discharging temperature, minus 25 C to 40 C, and then minus 13 freedom to 104 freedom. And then for the charging, that's kind of like the big one right there for lithium iron phosphate at least. Here it is negative 15 C to 40 C, five degrees freedom up to 104 degrees freedom. So in lithium iron phosphate, typically it's around 32 degrees. So that is quite a bit of a difference. So this one you can actually charge in a lot colder temperatures. So if you're out camping and it's really cold out, this one's not gonna have a problem out there. Anyway, over here for the battery capacity, it is 900 watt hours, like I mentioned up front. Battery voltage is 30 volts and it is 30 amp hours. For the outputs, we also went over because most of it was labeled on the front, but 1500 watts or 1500 VA max. USB-C ports, again, I already mentioned. Wireless charging, which is on the top. I'll show you that in just a second. You can charge up to 15 watts. Cigarette letter port, 10 amps. AC-DC output, 1500 watts total. All right, so that's all we have on the back. And then the last side is just gonna be the, the intake or the exhaust. And then right up here on the top will be the last thing, of course. It says NA+, and here's gonna be our wireless charging up to 15 watts. I'm really glad they added wireless charging up here because I think it's a shame whenever portable power stations kind of do not add that. I just think it's a, a big miss. So way to go for putting wireless charging back on the top. All right, well, that's going to be the quick look for the Pioneer NA sodium-powered portable power station. All right, well, that's pretty much all I got. If you want to see the full review of this coming out here shortly, make sure you like that smash button on your way out. Hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you on the next one. Oh, sorry, so, I had a cat in a box over there. My, my bad, girlfriend. I'm sorry, I didn't know you were inside that box. Hey, there's another cat in a video. Hey, I'm sorry, I didn't know you were inside that box. My bad. Yeah, sorry about that.